Let's talk about one of my favorite tools with CSS Hero, and that's going to be variables. What exactly are they? Well, they allow us to save the value of a particular property by using a name that we can easily remember. So let's as an example, right? We wanted to change the color of Titanfall Review. I'm going to come in here, go to typography. And right here, I'm just going to stick with the color that's been generated over here. Let me just change this over to the hexadecimal value. So you can see right now that the value is 2087B3. Uh, now, if I wanted to use this color on another element, I would have to remember this exact code. But the problem is, is that we're human beings, we're not machines. So wouldn't it be nicer if we could just, instead of using this particular code, use a name that we can remember? So check this out. Okay, I'm going to go ahead now, click OK. But then over here where you have the add symbol, I'm going to click in there. And right now you can see we have access to the variables function. I'm going to come in here right now and simply give a name to this and call this, uh, let's call this dark blue instead. I was going to go with sky blue, but I think it's a bit too dark for sky. So dark blue, I'm going to go ahead now and simply save. So right now, if I wanted to apply this shade of dark blue to another element, I won't have to remember the code anymore. I'll just remember dark blue and that's it. So take, take a look at this, okay? If I go to recent posts right now and I wanted to change the color here to the dark blue, I'm just gonna click in there and now right here where you have color, I'll click on the add symbol and right there, dark blue is waiting for us. I'll click on dark blue and there you go. Recent post now has the exact same color as Titan Fault Review. So that's exactly how variables work. They allow us to store the values of some properties by using names that we can easily remember. But that's not the only way how you can actually create your own variables. You can head over to project and then over here you will see project variables. And then from here you can click on create a new variable. Before I show you how to create one from this, note that whenever you add colors as variables, you will be able to create a palette from them. So right now we've created dark blue and over here to the right, notice we have the create palette button. I'm going to click in there. And just like that, CSS Hero has now generated palettes from the dark blue color. So if I wanted to apply any one of this to any element, uh, let's say for example, the 13, 14 minutes to read text, I'm going to click on it and then come over here, go back to typography, click on color. And now right here, you can now see we have access to not only the original dark blue color, but also the palettes of colors generated. So we can go with, uh, let's go with something more light like this one right here. And there you go. 13 to 14 minutes to read is now uh, a sky blue color. So that's exactly how you can create uh, variables from the color property. Now, colors aren't the only property that you can create variables from. In fact, you can create variables from every kind of property out there, whether it's uh, with font sizes, your line height, your margins, patterns, and so on. In fact, let me show you a very cool way how you can create different font sizes uh, with variables. So I'm going to head over to project, click on project variables, and let's create a new variable from this place. I'm going to click on create new var. And now let's call this normal, all right? This is going to be the name for the variable. I'm going to give this a value of 20 pixels, okay? Let's go ahead now, add that. So basically, the normal font size here would be 20 pixels, but check this out. Again, I'm going to create a new variable and we'll call this bigger, okay? So the idea here being that the bigger variable will have a larger font size but instead of giving it a value like 26 pixels or 30 pixels, check this out. Okay, I'm going to say at normal and then multiplied by two. Let's add that. And there you go. So right now, instead of providing like an exact value for variables, you can provide values with some math included, right? So you could do uh, times two divided by three plus seven any kind of mathematical or calculation will go or will work well here. So let's try to apply this to, let's head over to Titanfall Review and let's head over to Typography. Let's go to the font size and now right here at the add symbol, let's try applying normal. 
So you can see normal right now, it's shrunk a little bit because it's 20 pixels, but then we click on bigger and now that is 40 pixels. So this is exactly how you can create different font sizes uh, with variables. But note that because this value here is pixels, you can actually apply them to all the properties that will accept uh, similar values. So as an example, okay, check this out, okay? I'm gonna head over to line height. And right here, line height, I can click on the add symbol. And right there, we can apply the bigger line height value, which is gonna be uh, 40 pixels, or the normal value, which would be uh, 20 pixels in this case. So that's another way how uh, you can work with such variables. You can apply the exact same variable to as many properties as you want, as long as those properties can actually accept the value of those variables. Now to round this up, I just wanted to stress that whenever you create a variable and you apply the value of that variable to multiple elements, if you made a change to that value, it is going to affect every single element that you've applied that variable to. To demonstrate this, I've already created another variable called uh, lemon green, and that's the value of the color. Let's go ahead now and apply this color to three different elements. I'll apply it to recent posts text. So let's do that. That's one. Uh, Titanfall review, of course. Let's do that one as well. And then 13 to 14 minutes to read. I'll apply the color in there as well. So we now have three different elements with the variable lemon green. Now, if I decide to change the value of the variable, either uh, directly uh, over here where you have the uh, color property, I could change it right here, or I could do it over here in the project section. Let's do it over here. I'm going to remove this value. Let's delete that. And I'm going to paste another value I've already copied. I'm going to press enter. And there you go. This is now the new value of lemon green, which is now uh, 357 BE5. But then notice that all the three elements we applied the initial value to have now also changed to reflect the new value of the variable. You can see right now we sent post, Titanfall review, and 13 to 40 minutes to read are now all in blue. So that's just wanting to remember. When you create a variable and you apply a value to that variable, you apply that variable to multiple elements. If you make one change to that value, it will apply and affect every other element that you've applied that variable to. So that's how to work with CSS Hero variables, and I hope you'll find them very useful in your CSS projects.